surfing with a fidget spinner is next level. Besides looking like a Millie, how do we feel this morning? I'm awake. It's almost about a 10. When reality hits you in the face like a brick wall. What does that mean? When you go to work. Uh... <laughs> you <laughs> scared me, Bob. Be safe, babe. Good morning, guys. Jordan is heading to work. I am heading to work on my dreams. One day, when this all pays off, I hope that Jordan will not have to work and I'll be able to make enough money. You know, I never cared about being rich, but hopefully one day I can just make enough money where uh, Jordan doesn't have to work and she can just work alongside me. That would be the dream, and I'm working on that every day, so thank you guys for the support and the love and uh, I mean, where I am now, with everything, mostly spiritually, my dream is, uh, I'm living my dream. So, this is awesome. Uh, and it's pretty much all because of you guys. And not that I'm making tons of money on YouTube. It's more about the energy. The energy that you guys are putting behind it, you know, makes me push forward every day and, and, and grind it out. And, and even though it doesn't always make sense financially to to live this lifestyle I'm more about the energy and the dream so it makes sense for my soul thank you guys I, I really appreciate it good morning from New Jersey it's a beautiful summer day I have a lot of things to do as always let's see what's going on I'm heading home right now good morning We got the crew. Me and my sister G. I'm gonna go shredding. What's the claim? No claim. When's the last time you surfed? Last year. No. Well, one year between sessions, and uh, she's gonna ride the seven foot wave band now. And we're gonna go surfing in our hometown of Longport, New Jersey. Hopefully, there's some waves. Stoking. This is El Slamo, and this camera's not waterproof, but I'm walking over here, because it seems like a new, a new peak. Oh shit, there's water splashing. It seems like a new peak has formed. Hold on. Wow, this is savage. Why am I doing this? All right, so I'm gonna get my sister over here with the camera, see if she can get a couple ways of me over here on the new peak. Dream, dream lifestyle, even though I lost her. Semi fun, semi sketchy, doesn't break as well as it looks like it breaks, and every wave ends up just nose straight into the rocks, so not really worth it. But uh, I could see if the sand keeps working over there, it could potentially be a little sandbar out there. But uh, we're gonna go surf in the regular ocean and be regular. 
<laughs> All right, second time ever surfing go pole and shortboard. I thought the angle came out pretty cool last time, so see if I can get a couple. Stoked. came up really quick and he got flat in like a matter of seconds. My first two waves were kind of fun and then that was that. So that's that. G shredded. Trout fest. Bro. We can have a half of a half of my bagel. Or are you talking about Mimi's? We're going to Mimi's house to talk to the longest continuous resident of Longport, New Jersey. All right guys, so I have been surfing in Longport, New Jersey for about 20 years. I grew up surfing here. This is where I learned to surf. And I realized that I know nothing about the history of surfing in Longport or Absecon Island. That got me thinking. And I decided to start doing some research and figuring out how surfing even came about in my hometown and the place that I learned to surf and I figured the best place to start would be with my very own grandmother who is a total Longport legend. She is the longest living person in Longport as of right now. She's lived here longer than anybody else and she has a lot of good information and this is a good place to start my quest. So this is my grandmother. She has been living here forever and She's pretty gnarly, so let's go see what she has to say. I don't know. No, I don't want to film me now. Stop it. What are you Wait, doing? How, and what do you want? What? <laughs> what is it you want? I want to. I want to. Remember, I was talking about the other day. I want to figure out how surfing started on Epsecon Island in Longport. So I don't know anything about it. I want it. you to just. Well, I look like I'm about two and a half, three years old. So I'll be 1940, 1939. To surf then on patrol would watch the water's edge for the beach for fresh fish. It was not uncommon for surfmen on patrol to pick up 50 of these fish. Those fish were not all bunched up the same area, but were found on the beach five miles long. So what is a surf man? They're, a, they're the uh, Coast Guard's life-saving service who manned the small unmotorized boats through the waves to make rescues. He must have died about 1834. He was married to Mary Leeds. One of them was Charles Turner, who married Mariah Higby in Galloway Township. He was born in 1809 and died in 1897. Charles Turner and Mariah Higby's children were my great-grandfather, James Turner. Charles Turner was my great-great. I don't know. There's too many Charleses and James. All right. My great-grandfather, Charles Turner, married Mary Baker of Bakersville, which is now Northfield. He was in the life-saving service. That I know. His son, Charles, Captain Charles Turner, born May 1868, died February 1934. He was married a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was married three times. Huh? Wow. Charles Turner and Mary Kelton had Charles, James, and Dorothy. What else do you need? Uh, now let's get, now we're at Jim Turner. He was born in Longport in 1902. He was delivered by Dr. Suey, who rode his horse and buggy down the beach from Atlantic City at low tide to deliver him. That was very common because it was the fastest way to get here. The beach was really wide at low tide, so they'd come down with horse and buggy. He left school before he graduated 
at 17 and he joined the Coast Guard. And when he was chief boatswain's mate, they uh, commissioned a brand new Coast Guard cutter, the Travis, to him. And so he was, well, the captain, but he wasn't really a captain. He was uh, the captain of the Travis, and they were involved in chasing the rum runners during Prohibition. That was the main thing that they did, and also rescues. There was one rum runner called him Tommy Gun Turner because he did used to have a Tommy gun, and when they'd board the rum boats, they would have their weapons drawn. When he was a young te teenager, I think he was, he was a lifeguard. And then when I was... Uh, the, when I was born, he was captain of the Beach Patrol. Then I guess he left the Beach Patrol to go back into the Coast Guard, you know, during the Second World War. He was captain of Port in Atlantic City, which was where his office was where the lighthouse is. It wasn't the big Coast Guard station. They were in charge of the patrols on the beach where the Coast Guards walked the beach with dogs so that the German submarines, U-boats, couldn't land spies along the beach. Surf boats were, they were similar to the lifeguard boats you see now. They were just uh, boats without, sometimes they had small motors, but a lot of them didn't have motors. The lifeguards used to, when they were playing around and they weren't allowed to, they'd take the boats out, ride the waves in, they'd stick the oar in the back to use it for a rudder. They'd shoot, the, they were called shooting seas. That's what it was called. Then they were fined for doing that, of course because they would be wrecking the boats and all that. Wait. When I was young, surfboards were wooden, short things, and nobody stood up, what not in Longport. They rode on their stomach, you know, you rode on your abdomen on the waves that way. I don't ever remember seeing anybody standing up on them, and they weren't the big, long ones, they were heavy. You saw the two down at the Historical Society. But the big thing then were the uh, inflatable rafts that we used to ride. But in the 1940s, though, you're saying yeah. you saw people riding wooden boards. You know, a few people, not very many people had them. They weren't too safe because they were so heavy and maybe knocking the bay edges over. You used to just body surf. You'd ride a wave and try not to get killed. You'd ride a wave just in like this. With your hands extended in front of you, you'd get in front of a big wave as it came over you, ride it in. We used to body surf off of the seawall. The seawall was, it was really high compared to the way it is now. It's all filled in with beach now. If you ride, a big wave came in, we body surf off the seawall, back towards the waves coming in. When the two waves hit each other, that would shoot you up in the air. It was really fun until my father found out I was doing that, and then he told me I couldn't do it anymore. That sounds like stuff I do. When those things came in, they hit the seawall, went out. But then I wasn't allowed to, well, I was told I wasn't allowed to. That doesn't mean he could watch me all the time. <laughs> Didn't Jim know Duke? Didn't he meet Duke of Connemara or whatever? Uh, Duke of Connemara, he saw him. I think he was in Atlantic City once. Wasn't he a diver and a surfer? I think he was at Steel Pier. You might have seen him. I don't know that he knew him. Alright, so what we learned so far for the history of surfing in Longport, New Jersey. Pretty much there was a life-saving service. Let's just put it this way. By the 1940s, there were wooden surfboards that people rode on their stomachs. So they surfed ways on their stomachs, so bodyboard, boogie boarded. And by the 1950s, some of the Longport lifeguards were surfing the lifeguard boats in using the paddle as a fin as a rudder, my grandmother called it. So by the 1940s, bodyboards, by the 50s, surfing on boats, we're gonna have to dive deeper and dig deeper into this matter to find out how surfing really came about in Longport and Apsekin Island. Obviously, I just started this venture in this quest, so I have a long way to go. And uh, it's gonna be an interesting journey, but for now, let's actually go surfing. The tide is low, but there's still a little bit of a wave, and my friend Brandon is coming over, so. Let's go get a couple waves.